right. Later, I'm here with Vinny Magalhaes. Vinny, you are in the Side Pro 7 heavyweight tournament and in the first round took an injury. Um, what was your prep like going into the tournament before? Well, you know, like uh, I started the year already, like so usually when I say that, it's like I'm trained for fighting, you know, like uh, then May fight's coming up, nothing broke, but like now I plan to start like my uh, fighting stuff like by June or July. And uh, I try to like, you know, not to start like six weeks out. Like, you know, for me, it has to be like a few months out. So that way, by the time like I really have to get to the final like steps of the training, I'm like in top shape. So I've been training mostly in May, of course. Like when I train, in, uh, when I train rap, I train with my students, which they're all getting great training. Kyle, who's also in the tournament like today, he was uh, one of my training partners for the last couple of weeks. And uh, I was feeling good, man. Like, you know, it's one of those things I don't train grappling like uh, as an everyday thing. But you know, I do enough like as far as conditioning to be able to push like into grappling gloves, the, the whole experience that I had already. Yeah. So what, what injury? What actually happened at the event? So um, I initially I did everything what I, as I want as far as like you know my goal was not to spend too much time. It's only six minutes, but it's a short match, right? So I was like, well, I'm gonna pull guard. My goal was to drag like you know either jump so I could just play close guard or drag my opponent so, like into my close guard. And in this first attempt of dragging to my close guard, I just like hyper extended like my groin muscle and it just felt like a nice pop. And uh, you know, from the point on, there was no guard anymore. You know, I was playing guard one side. Luckily, he was jumping over, which is somehow making it easy. But I feel like if he was playing like a close guard pass, like a little bit tighter, he'd probably get the pass. You know, and I was struggling to even pop up to my knees. So that's why he nearly got the pass a couple of times. So, you know, shit happens. Sorry about that. Not to work totally good. You know, good. things happen. Like, you know, um, there's no excuse. It was, uh, it was a draw. It depended on the rules how he could be a win for him. Um, it, was, it was just bad. It was overall, you know, like not at the greatest performance. So it was like, they do like in the to me. I feel like things could have been a little bit, a little bit better. It could have been a drop. It could have looked a lot better if it wasn't for the injury. But still, you know, like I'm more upset not because of the result, but the overall result because I couldn't even continue the tournament. I couldn't go to my match against Bruno, which I feel like it's unfair to, you know, to even like my. Uh, Next opponent, it wasn't fair to Bruno not to have a match against me. It was unfair to Cyborg not to have a match against me. And uh, it sucks for everybody else, not even for the promotion, because they brought me here. You know, like I was one of the, the few selected guys to get in this tournament, which like they just had world class guys. And uh, it sucks that I couldn't like, you know, come here and do what I was supposed to do. But again, it's not like you know, it would be the same if I had got a big cut in my face. It's not a, it wasn't a choice. It wasn't an option. It happened. We didn't know how like serious the injury is. So I don't feel like it's worth. It was worth like continuing, like you know, maybe aggravate it and just make it even worse. So after this tournament, after you heal up, do you plan to continue to do more grappling events in 2020, or do you want to focus primarily back into MMA and do grappling as it comes up? You know, like uh, if you look, uh, like 2018 I had one grappling match, which was against which was against Gordon, and because like after that point on, like I was just doing MMA, I was like with DFL, so I had like five fights in a six months period, so there's no room for me to even do any grappling match. So it all comes down to that, and of course my priority is my uh, MMA career. So if I stay busy like throughout the year, I won't have any time to do any grappling. Like like happened last year for PFL, and the Blues in the quarterfinal. So I try to compete at Milky Worlds. I try to comp I compete like an attorney in California too. So it's one of those things. Like if I have the time, I'll do it. But if I don't have the time, my focus is always in MMA. Hey, thanks a lot, Vinny. I really uh, appreciate thank it. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.